the perspective tool is slightly different in Adobe CS6. They actually made it a little bit easier to use. The steps are mostly the same. We'll open the perspective image. But instead of using the crop tool, which is the tool we would use in versions before CS6, we can actually click and hold our mouse and find a separate tool underneath the crop tool called the perspective crop tool. And that's the tool we'll use to fix the perspective in this image. To use the perspective crop tool, you just first need to, using that tool, highlight the image uh, that you're trying to fix the perspective on. You'll see that that creates a grid around the image. Now what we want to do is we want to adjust each of the corners so they match the corners that we want to fix. To do this, I'm going to actually zoom in on the image. So I can either go to View, Zoom In, or I can hit Command or Control Plus to zoom in as well. So what I'm going to do now with my mouse is take each of the four corners of the outline from the perspective crop tool and I'm going to match right at the edge of the picture. So now I've got my top two. You see I've got the image just so it's right on the white outline of the image. I'm going to do this for each of the four corners. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom back out. Now you can see that the perspective crop tool is now just outlining the image. And now I can either click my uh, check and say I'm done, commit current crop, I could double click or I could hit enter. I'm just going to click this check mark it. And now you'll see what it's done is it's taken that image uh, that I had clicked around and it fixed the perspective. So now it looks like I'm actually looking at the image rather than having it uh, with the incorrect perspective. So now you can follow the rest of the tutorial the same way. Uh, that was the only step that's different in this version. The next thing you're supposed to do is highlight the actual image itself. Okay, so I'm using the marquee tool, highlighting around the image. Okay, and now what I'm doing is I'm going to select inverse, and this is actually going to select the white area around the image. And now what I'm going to do is fill this with a uh, white color. So rather than having this shadow over here on this side of the image, it will be a solid color around the image. So to do that, I just need to go up to edit and then fill. And I'm going to choose a specific color uh, to fill inside my selection. So I'm going to choose color, and then I can bring up, and uh, I'm going to do white. I'm going to do a slightly darker than white. So it's mostly white, but it's not bright, bright white. So you can see it's just slightly off-white there. And I'm going to say, OK. Voila. Now you can see that my image has a white outline. So now I have corrected the perspective on the image and I've fixed the border so that it is a slightly brighter white color. The next thing I'll do is save this uh, as a PSD file. So file save as Photoshop and I'll save it into a folder uh, completed tutorials call it perspective.psd. All right, and that is uh, how to complete the perspective tutorial using Photoshop CS6.